Hello and welcome to German Cooking. Today I will show you how I bake my Stollen, Grandma Stollen. It's an old recipe with a lot of butter and a lot of flavor. It smells fantastic and it will taste even better. So let's start. For the dough of our Stollen, I have the flour over here and the milk uh, over here. I need to warm up the milk a little bit, but before I do this, I take a vanilla bean, cut it in half and open it. I get the vanilla seeds out. I take the whole vanilla bean and okay. And those parts of the vanilla bean, half of it, I put in my other sugar and the other half I put in here. And warm this up a little bit. In our dough, in our flour, I make a hole here <coughs> and we pre uh, prepare a little bit of a pre dough. I have instant yeast here that's 37 gram you can also use 100 grams of fresh yeast but as i have no fresh yeast i have to use it's instant yeast i mix this a little bit with the flour on here i add a little bit of the sugar to it as well mix this Okay, the milk is now hand warm and I pour a bit of the milk in here. And mix this. I also get some flour from the bottom. So this becomes a very nice Now we cover that and let it rest for some minutes. And in the meantime, we prepare the other ingredients. So I have a bowl over here and in the bowl I add the almonds. And yesterday I prepared my raisins. I put the raisins in the bowl and half a glass of rum on top of it in overnight. I put that in here as well. So there should not be any liquid left. And that is my orange and citrus peel. Put that in here as well. And we need the skin of a fresh lemon. Just create this in here. Okay, the next thing we have to prepare <coughs> is the butter. So I left the butter out of the fridge for 
a whole day so that it is not too hard. We need to cut it into some chunks. It's quite a lot of butter, but that's the trick with the Stollen. Our little pre-dough has been fermented already a little bit, um, that's perfect. So now we can mix everything together. As my kitchen machine is not big enough, I have a bigger one and I mix this in my big bread mixer. So I put all the raisins and almonds mixture in here to allow that this mix nicely into the dough I just cover everything a little bit with flour and just give it a little bit of mix a bit more the pre-dough to it, the sugar, salt, the butter, and I need to sure we don't get it on, on one place. Be careful, don't put the vanilla bean in there. Okay, this goes now into the mixer and will be mixed. You can mix it by hand, um, it takes a while, it's a very hard and rough dough. Um, I mix it in my big mixer and then I show you the result. So the dough is now mixed in my large mixer and I transfer it to a smaller bowl, also a big one. But smaller parts which are not completely mixed. I just give it another little bit with my hand. So now I cover it with some cling wrap and then I leave it there for at least 12 hours um, or a whole day, best overnight. The dough has rested for 24 hours and what we do now is we, we shape the stollen. So first we need to get it out. Okay. Two chunks. We don't need the dough, just 
press it flat that it is run about three centimeters thick. Yeah. And then we just fold it over. this stollen shape so this goes in these are our two stollen and they need to rest now in a warm place for yeah, around about an hour I preheated the oven to 160 degrees and placed a bowl of water at the bottom do not use the fan of your oven the stollen baked for an hour and I put it out of the oven and now I melted some butter over here and I will generously put that butter on the stollen. finished. The is ready now and um, it needs to cool down and I will wrap it in a little bit of cling wrap and store it at a cool and cold place and in a week's time I will cut it and have a piece of it. Enjoy and thank you for watching.